If a film has Jeffrey Dean Morgan in it, I am definitely check it out. But sometimes, in very, very rare circumstances, it may not live up to the potential that I think it should. That brings me to the film, The Integrity of Joe Sip Chambers. What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film The Integrity of Joseph Chambers which makes its world premiere at Tribeca Film Festival 2022 under the US narrative category. Now with that you know every time you hear the word narrative that means there's some message involved in the film and this one is sort of a psychological thriller as well too so a lot of the makes of what I like in my films. Then the cast here, as I said, Jeffrey D. Morgan is in it, Jordana Brewster's in it, and I'm like, hmm, interesting, pretty popular names here for independent film. But to my sort of disappointment, not much Jeffrey, and I think he's such a phenomenal actor that I know contracts and finances, I get all that other stuff, but man, if you cannot try to squeeze as much as you can out of him for whatever time and agreement that he agrees to, I don't know what to do. I felt a little shorted by his performance because while I enjoyed it, I just wish it was so, 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 so much more. He's a cop in this, and that's like something that you find out very towards the end of the film. But more importantly, uh, you have Joe, who's played by Clayne Crawford, who's a family man. And um, as a family man, this guy just wants to provide for his family. He has two young kids. He has a wife in Tess, played by Jordana Brewster. And this whole complex, almost like toxic masculinity of like having to prove himself and, you know, what does it mean to be a man and so on. I mean, he doesn't he heed any of the warnings that his wife gives him. And He's an insurance guy, and like whatever bit of stereotypical slander is attached to that, I guess that's a thing. When you're like, I, I sell insurance, I didn't know that was a bad thing, but to me, I thought that sound, you know, pretty. Yeah, like you're, you're doing something good, you know. But uh, he wants to go out and hunt, and he doesn't have no type of hunting experience. Like he's done it like a few times with his friends. His wife rem reminds him of that, but like if he goes out and hunt. And he could bring back a deer. Then he could feed his family and all this other stuff. But, like, does he really know how to do all that? Not really. But that's his whole idea of him wanting to take care of his family. And, like, yeah, like I said, hunting is the answer. And, like, he just isn't skilled. And it's shown in so many different ways. Um, but as the title of the film states, the integrity. Because that's what this guy has to learn. Integrity and accountability. What does that mean? And he learns it in the wilderness where he uh, is clearly battling beyond moving forward mentally in terms of like proven things. He's obviously battling things in his past or maybe currently, whatever it may be. He's hearing creepy voices, uh, sometimes visions. Um, but yeah, this it's very clear that this guy is dealing with some trauma. And having a rifle in his hand while dealing with this is not safe. As we find out from somebody and something uh, very soon. So, you know, this is truly a story of a man and the becoming uh, and his becoming to truth. Um, and, and, and hopefully that truth uh, will relieve him for all the things that he needs to sort of let go there for in the past. Um, so, you know, it, 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 I, I get the message that the story is trying to tell. I think that executes well. Um but I was a little underwhelmed. Uh, first of all, I thought Jordana uh, does a really good job as the wife. Um, instantly captured, ca catches your eyes and really convincing about how much she cares about him and whatnot. And I will say that uh, Clay um, does a also interesting job as well, too, of just kind of giving us emotes in terms of just his how naive he is to the circumstances. Like, he's just irresponsible kind of just wandering off and like i think in a very almost cliche way of just going out into the wilderness because he doesn't know where else to go so you know i i think that this film just has good potential i just wish that there was a lot more room to let these characters these actors do their job more jordana um i would say even more more clay in a in a way that he's just not kind of just 
wandering off, but kind of just a little bit more substance from this character. I would like to know a little bit more about his trauma and so on. And then, as I said, Jeffrey Dean Morgan as a cop, you know, give me more besides him having a very intriguing phone call and then coming from behind the desk and then that's about the end of the movie. I want to know. I want to see more of this person because, like, you know, Jeffrey just has such very pure uh energy in his performances and the moment he speaks you're listening and you're watching and i think that like if you're gonna have him in the film then you better sure as hell use him to the utmost capability that you can so that's kind of robbers that with that but yeah nonetheless i think this film is certainly still worth a watch the integrity of joseph chambers um i think that you know the message out of this alone is should be something that some people may need to face you know um don't run away from your problems you probably need to face them you certainly don't need to uh, heed the warnings that you are uh, getting at home especially from your significant other uh who if anybody probably knows you better than anyone else. So, you know, you, you might want to listen to that before you go out there and do something reckless that could be completely detrimental to everything that you actually are trying to, you know, provide for family. So, yeah. But yeah, check it out, folks. Jump in the comments when you do. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.